According to ProfileTree.com, 85% of Instagram accounts were hacked in 2023. Now, although this statistic is extremely alarming, you do not need to worry because in today's video, I am going to walk you by step by step how to recover a hacked Instagram account in 2024. Now, in this video, I'm going to be covering three different methods and all the tips and tricks that come along with successfully recovering your account through these methods. Now, please remember that the Instagram recovery process is never easy. It's usually a very time consuming operation. So please make sure that all the instructions that I provide for you, you follow very closely and you take this process very seriously. But with that, I know you're eager for all these methods, tips and tricks. So let's get straight into this video. Okay, the first thing to do if you suspect that you've been hacked on Instagram is to check your email. The first thing that Instagram does when a hacker changes your email or your password, Instagram sends you an email. Now, if you receive an email from Instagram, you're actually able to reverse the process that the hacker did and be able to successfully recover your account. The thing though with this email is you have to be very timely. As soon as you get the email, you have to click on it and go through the steps that Instagram lists. However, for a lot of people, either this link does not work or they didn't find the email in time. So now the hacker is fully in their Instagram account and they have to turn to different methods. Once again, do not worry because there's three other methods I'm going to cover in this video to successfully recover your account. Method one, this is the stereotypical normal way to recover your Instagram account through Instagram's app. And this is the video selfie method. The first most important tip is to not delete your app. I know that when you go through something like this, someone hacks your account, you freak out and you just wanna get all of this frustration and anxiety out of your system. So you might just end up deleting your app. But actually deleting your app, I've read from sources, is actually going to complicate this recovery process even more. However, I would recommend instead of deleting your app to update your app. Updating your app is going to give you the latest recovery process that Instagram is providing to you. So let's just say I'm going through these steps and methods today. If your app is not up to date, you are not going to see the same stuff that I'm seeing. And it's gonna make this recovery process that much harder. So make sure your app is fully up to date before continuing. Okay, so I'm gonna go on my phone and I'm gonna walk through the recovery process on how to get to the video selfie method with you guys. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go on to Instagram's homepage. This is basically the page where you log in to your Instagram. Alrighty. So once you're on Instagram's homepage, you are going to click forgot password question mark. Now Instagram is going to ask you for your username or your email. So type in the username of your hacked Instagram account here. Now, if the hacker changed your username, put in the new year's name into this box here. So let's just say the hacker changed your username to I've been hacked 103. Put I've been hacked 103 in this box. Do not use your old username. I know you wanna keep it, you wanna cherish it, but we need to get going. And if the hacker changed it, we have to put it in here. I'm gonna type in my new username in here. The hacker changed it too. And then I'm gonna press next. Now Instagram is going to ask us to either click send an email or send an SMS. So they're gonna provide us a link to get back into our account. Now, unfortunately, when you get to this step, you might notice that none of the information listed here is yours. The hacker, you typically, when they break into your account, the first thing that they do is they set up two-factor authentication and change the email address and the phone number associated with your account. So all this information here, is not yours and unfortunately we cannot use it to get back into our Instagram accounts. So we're gonna click can't reset your password question mark. Okay, now Instagram is gonna say, choose a way to recover your Instagram account. Once again, all the information listed here is not yours, it's the hacker. So we can't even access any of these. So we're gonna click at the bottom, try another way. Now you're gonna be brought to a page with six different options of why you can't get into your Instagram account. This is very important. So you might just see the third option that says my account was hacked and automatically click that. But I am going to send this advisory to all of you. If your account is currently not deactivated. If it is still on Instagram, your friends can still see your account is there. If you do not want your account to be deactivated, do not click this. Because if you click this option that my account was hacked, there's a very good chance that Instagram is going to deactivate your account. And I've read that when Instagram
Instagram it deactivates your account. It makes the recovery process just a little bit more tricky and difficult, just like deleting your app does. However, I also understand that a lot of people might want their Instagram to be deactivated if a hacker gets access to it because they're embarrassed. They know that the hacker is messaging other people. They just do not want to deal with this horror story anymore. So in that case, just remember that deactivating your account might make the process a little more complicated. It might take Instagram longer to confirm your identity, but you have an option and that is to click my account was hacked. If you do not want your Instagram to be deactivated, click the first option. I forgot my password and can't reset it. So in my case, I'm just going to click, I forgot my password and can't reset it. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to click next. So this page is interesting because the second method I'm going to cover in this video is supposed to be contained in this box here. Now I'm going to insert a screenshot of what I'm talking about, but typically on this page or sometimes actually on this page, Instagram gives you an option to either record a selfie video of yourself to confirm your identity and to get back into your account, or it gives you an option to ask your friends to confirm your identity, which is a lot easier and a lot more simple. But I really do not understand why sometimes that option shows up on this page and sometimes it doesn't. Also important to note here, a lot of people are concerned when they have an Instagram account that doesn't contain any photos of themselves on their account. I just have to say that I have heard a lot of people, even though that this is the case, they're still able to get back into their Instagram account while taking a video selfie, even though this video selfie doesn't match any of the photos on their Instagram account because there are none on their account of their face. And also you can not even click the second option. No, I do not have a photo of myself in my account because if you do click this, it's going to take you to a help center, which is going to provide absolutely nothing useful. <laughs> it is not actually going to lead you to recover your account. So always press yes, whether you have photos of yourself or you don't always press yes. Now Instagram is going to ask you for an email address to reach you. This is also important. Put in a new email address that you know a hacker does not have access to. Now Instagram is going to send a six digit code to that new email address. So I'm going to go on my email and I'm going to take the six digit code that they sent me. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it in here and click confirm. Now it's time for the video selfie. So I'm going to actually stop this video and I'm going to talk to you guys here on how to successfully create this count before Instagram records me taking the selfie video. And I know right now it's not going to be correct. Okay, so tips for taking a successful video selfie. Please listen up because a lot of people get errors when they're submitting the video selfie or the video selfie doesn't actually work and Instagram is not able to confirm that they say who they are. Alrighty, tip number one. Do not wear a mask. Do not wear sunglasses. Do not wear any crazy makeup. Make sure that when you're taking the video selfie, you look like yourself. Because what Instagram is doing is it's comparing this video selfie to other photos on your Instagram. But on that note, note though, if you wear a lot of makeup on your Instagram page, I would honestly do the same amount of makeup when you're submitting this video selfie. Also, if you typically have a smiley expression in your Instagram photos or a very serious one, I would also use this expression when you're taking the video. Also, get yourself in good lighting. I would probably not use this lighting because I'm filming at night, but I would probably take the video selfie in daylight in front of a white plain wall. Also, very important to note, when you're taking the video selfie, you want the file size to be as small as possible. This is another reason why people get a lot of errors when submitting this video selfie. And it is because either the video size is too big or they're not properly connected to the internet. So number one, when you're taking the video selfie, make sure that your emotions are very swift, quick, and are to the point. Do not hang out too long in one area of the video selfie. Also make sure your hair is behind your ears and when you're doing the motions, make sure they are full motions and you can literally see every single part of your face. Also back to the note about internet connection. If you're receiving errors or Instagram is just not successfully verifying your selfie video, if you are originally recording this video on Wi-Fi, try recording it and submitting it on cellular data. Vice versa, if you're having a lot of issues on cellular data, switch to Wi-Fi and see if that improves your situation. Okay, so those are the main tips I have for submitting the video 
selfie. So after you submit the video selfie, you just have to wait. I really can't tell you how long you have to wait. Sometimes it's 30 minutes, sometimes it's a day. Instagram will get back to you though and tell you whether your video selfie was successful and they were able to verify your identity. If you were successful, congratulations. That is such a time saver and saves you so much anxiety. But if you were not successful, do not worry, just keep going. The secret to honestly to this whole recovery process is you have to be very persistent and you cannot give up. So if Instagram does not verify your identity through the selfie video on the first try, every time Instagram denies you, just resend another video. So please make sure you're following the instructions that I just mentioned in this video about how to properly take a video selfie because you don't want to be sending the same video knowing that there's actually errors in it and that's why Instagram is not processing it successfully. Okay guys, let's go over the second method which might not be available to you, but if it is, consider yourself very lucky and that is the friend method method. Now, if you don't have this option, don't worry. There's another method I'm going to cover in the next, I don't know, five minutes, which anyone could use. And it's actually a method that is outside of the Instagram app and has really good results. But if you do have the option to confirm your identity through your friends, this is for you. So when you go on to that page that I mentioned before, where Instagram asks you whether you have photos of yourself on your account to take a selfie video, if you're lucky enough, you're also going to get an option where Instagram can confirm your identity through your friends. So I'm going to include screenshots because I actually had that option at one point and I was able to successfully send requests to two friends where they were able to confirm my identity and let me get back into my account. But this method is very simple, very straightforward. Choose two friends and Instagram is going to send a notification to them and all they're going to say is that they confirm that you are who you say you are. And then Instagram is going to send you login code to get back into your account. How easy is that? And that is basically the end to that method. There's really not much else to say. I wish that everyone had this method because I think the Instagram recovery process would be that much easier. But let's move on to the next method, which is filing a complaint with your local attorney general and people clerk organization. Okay, so we're going to use our friends over at the California Attorney General to do some work for us, and they're going to help us get in contact with Instagram. So the Attorney General basically very vaguely just represents the public's interests, but really what they do is they can help you get in contact and help you file lawsuits against bigger corporations. Their main focus is to prevent fraud and to rescue people from scammers. So if you are being hacked on Instagram, that is a form of fraud and a form of a scam and cyber attack. So the attorney general is supposed to help you in these situations. So what I would recommend is contacting the attorney general of California as well as your own states. And there are a few other ones that I have also heard are responsive and contact those as well. I'm gonna list all of those down in the description box below. So let's just start off with the attorney general of California as an example. How do you contact them? Well, you're first gonna go onto their website, which I'm gonna list down below. Then you're gonna go to contact us us, then consumer complaints. Then you're going to fill all the information on this form. Now, there's also going to be a box at the bottom where it's going to ask you for additional information. In here, you need to include any correspondence you've had with Instagram. So not only give them information that you've been hacked, that the hacker changed your username, they changed the email, the phone number, they're messaging your friends on your profile, but also give them any screenshots of Instagram either denying your video selfie, them telling you've been hacked, them telling you that your personal information was changed. Basically give any proof to the attorney general that you've already been in contact with Instagram and Instagram is not helping you in this fraud scam related case. Now what the attorney general is going to do is they're going to contact Instagram and try to get you some help. The People Clerk organization is also a really good organization to have in your back pocket. They do something very similar to the attorney general but when we go on their website and we ask them for help we're actually going to write a demand and letter to Instagram telling them what happened to us and that we need their assistance. So this people clerk method, unlike the attorney general method, costs about $29, but I feel like this is a very good investment to get your Instagram account back. 
So we're going to create a demand letter, which I'm going to include the template down in the description box below. But we are going to mail this demand letter to Instagram's legal team. Now, I also have a video about Facebook recovery and I cover the attorney general method and people clerk method in this video as well. So if your Facebook has also been hacked, I would make sure to check that link above. That video goes into a lot of detail on these methods and is honestly a really good option if you've been hacked on that platform. Also, if you're in Europe, you actually have another option and that's a data protection agency in your country. Now, I know Ireland's is very nice. They're very helpful. I know that other countries also have data protection agencies. I would do some more research, but they are also another option to contact if you need help getting in touch with Instagram. Okay, guys. So after we complete all of this, I hope and I pray that you get a message from Instagram that said that they have successfully confirmed your identity and now you can successfully get back into your account. But it is not time to chill and relax now. It is time to get to work because this part of the video is probably the most important. The hacker's information is still in your Instagram account so they can easily bump you right back out and you have to redo this whole entire process over and over again. So when you get the email from Instagram, open it up. Instagram is gonna tell you how to reset your password. If the hacker changed your username to a new username and you have to log into Instagram that way, use that new username. Don't use your old username because the hacker changed it. Then you're gonna go onto your profile and there's gonna be those three lines, those three horizontal lines at the top right, click on that. Then you're gonna click on account center. In here, you're gonna have all the information that's attached to your account. So the first thing I would do is I would click on profiles and see if any of the hacker profiles are in this page here. If they are, just click on that profile and delete it. Also, we're going to go down to personal details and any contact information in here, change it to yours. Make sure the hacker's contact information is nowhere to be seen on this page. Also, you're going to go up to password and security and you're going to set up two-factor authentication for your Instagram profile. This is basically going to save you from ever getting hacked again. Also click in where you've logged in. You'll probably be able to get a good representation of who your hacker was. Alrighty guys, after you do all of that, you are good to go. You got back into your Instagram and you ensure that the hacker can no longer get into it again. If you liked this video or if any of these tips and tricks were useful for you, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I would truly, truly appreciate it. If you're looking for more help, you can always message me on Instagram. I just rebranded my Instagram account and I created one just for my cybersecurity content and my new username is at cybersecurity.babe. Um, I know my YouTube channel is Cybersecurity Babe, but it was not available on Instagram. So I added a little dot between the cybersecurity and the babe. But you can also message me on my personal Instagram as well. And that's at Halakala. I hope you guys enjoy this video and you all stay super healthy, super safe. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.